opportunity good morning and namaste to everyone present over here uh, so myself is hema malani i work as associate professor in the department of networking and communication um, um i uh, my native place is puducherry and i stay over here in mahindra bal city uh, because my husband is working over here and that's why we shifted here i mean i my family shifted here i have two kids uh, my elder son is i have completed his 10th standard waiting for the result and my younger one is in 9th standard and uh, my mother in law is also with us and uh, regarding this submergence understanding of innateness and contemplation of relationship when i started taking this sip classes for the first year students i was able to analyze and feel within me that some transformation was uh, going inside me i actually started um, analyzing that this innateness the natural acceptance is innate within us and it is actually playing a role in each and every one of us so i could identify that even a small kid or a ceo of a big mnc company or a person who is cleaning a drainage as a self so i was able to realize that at that point itself and when i started handling this uhv2 i got a better clarity why we are here what is the role of a particular person here is it money or anything else nothing i am controlling <laughs> he is waiting <laughs> so that understanding that contemplation is it's universal like the value of our participation sh should be universal i understood that and i am trying to work towards it as a human being who is having a self and nothing else so this body is going to do nothing all the gods are same you know one thing i am hindu by born i got converted into christian because my family didn't accept me for the marriage because uh, eight years of love my husband name is francis xavier and i came out from my home and my mother in law said if it would have been an arranged marriage it would be uh, like i would go towards your uh, tradition and we would have married you both of you but since your uh, family is not accepting us better come with our christianity so i underwent all this baptism holy communion holy confirmation everything for him and i got converted into christian and you know what my husband is going to sabri malai i think more than 10 or 15 times each and every year he has gone to sabri malai and this restriction even my mother in law is imposing he says that please don't have any restriction please don't put any restriction because i am very much concerned about the god and usually he also uh, whenever he goes to sabri malai he used to uh, play all the video songs and you know what my younger son he was so enthusiastic he went to sabri malai for the first time i couldn't understand what's happening because he is very lazy fellow when i wake him up for bathing at least he takes 15 minutes to enter into the bathroom but when he started i mean uh, i mean when he was started doing this rituals early morning he gets up he just takes bath in the chill water and so this is actually i was trying to understand that the religion is which we have divided according to ourselves but the self is one the power is one so as a human being there is some value which we have to do for others and i understand that each and every one of us is same nothing there in age in caste etc 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 so i felt that when i took this uhv class and also i was able to uh, feel that i got some i mean i uh, delivered some input to the students because when they gave the sharing they said many things i was really touched with that so so this uh, contemplation of being universal i am trying to understand it and i hope at certain point i will observe myself as a self and uh, the basis of comparison basis of tasting is 
the real life uh, i mean the real time example i could take my two sons since there was only a two years of gap between my younger one and elder one and when my younger one was born i was not able to handle the elder one and all the time i get the irritation whenever he comes and disturbs my younger son as a born kid and due to which my mother in law was taking care of my elder son but the point is that she has an assumption because when i was conceived i mean my elder son was conceived my mother my father in law passed away so her assumption is that my father in law is inside my womb so from that point i knew that till now my mother in law has a particular concern about my elder son but not my younger son i knew that but and even i removed that assumption okay fine um if she is going according to it it's fine so uh, during this early stages of my both my kids i used to always uh, uh, i mean avoid my elder son and that wrong which i did it at the early stage till now it is reflected with my elder son he says that only you give preference to your younger son not to me still now he is having that assumption i'm trying to rectify it um, and thanks to this uhv because from this content i have imbibed and i am i i am trying to uh, not to compare him because most of the time no i'll compare because my elder son literally uh, his studies is very poor but my younger son is opposite to him so always what i do is i'll try to compare i will just ask my elder son uh, if there is a mistake go and ask your young, uh, go and ask your brother he will do it perfectly he will say it perfectly so this mistake which i have done is still reflected and i'm trying to rectify it so this is the real time example i can say and um, i'm trying to love my elder son equally <laughs> as i do with my younger son and the uh, future plans and commitment specific plan uh, yesterday supraja didi came and approached me like uh, umesh bhai i wanted to do i mean wanted to create a sub uh, group already i am uh, in a venaste self development group under umesh bhai so i think we'll i'll sit with supraja didi and discuss about like how to develop the content to deliver in workshops so first maybe i'll go as a observer planning to go as observer as co facilitator and then as a resource person step by step role in human education already i have handled sip already handling uh, uhv2 in future also i promise that wherever it is possible i can handle uhv2 and also planning to do in schools already we have gone uh, to an outreach program at schools and delivered this content still we'll plan for it and commitment for participation i already attended the 9th uh, 8th batch morning session 9th batch morning se uh, session and currently i'm doing my 10th batch uh, morning session and um, wherever i mean i mean also in whatever in house fdp we are conducting we, i am coordinating with that and still further and there is a conference which is held in november month i think you can also participate in the conference during the november month we are going to coordinate that um yeah thank you Thanks a lot.